Hey everybody, it's Briggs Hill here. Welcome to another replay in World of Tanks. I'm using the SU-100Y. It's a tank that I've only recently got. Uh, I've enjoyed it so far and this uh, battle, which you'll see now, is quite a long battle. I'll just say that. But it's also a very decent battle f on, from my perspective. I do quite a lot of damage and I get some nice kills. But the reason for this video really is to is kind of a showcase of the way I'm kind of trying to learn the game more. You see, over the past couple of weeks, probably a month or so actually, more than that, um, I've been trying to learn and get better, make my rating better. Not necessarily win rate, but uh, in particular my rating, because my rating, my WNA rating is 1830 or 1830. And about a month ago, it was probably about 1650 or something like that. So I've increased it quite a lot. And that's purely because I'm trying to learn. Now, you'll notice, if you take a look at the skin that this tank is using and the other tanks around it, I'm using a, a, a skin um, mod which uh, basically puts all the information you need to know about what the tank is and how you should hit the tank in regards to getting maximum damage. Um, let me just give you an information about the mod. Uh, the orange are where the crew are sitting. Uh, the green is usually uh, decently armoured, not decently armoured, sorry, uh, decent positions to hit the tank in, re in regards of getting some form of good hit. The white is to ammo rack, the red is to engine. I can't see any uh, fuel tank here, so the fuel tank seems to be quite decently um, covered in this tank. And you'll also see the driver on the front there, and the blue... Um, section which is also where the driver usually sits. This mod you can get if you use the Aslane, Aslane um, modification uh, tool which basically updates a lot of things. I use it because it's really interesting to learn about tanks and about where you should really hit the tanks. Eventually I'll get around and, and to learn all this off by heart so I don't need to use this mod but for now I will be using it. Anyway let's get go ahead and start this battle because it is quite a long battle and I don't particularly like to um, wait around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit in this position here for literally about the whole entire map and what I will be trying to do is just to try and do as much damage as possible because that's what this tank's all about. This tank has got a really good gun on it and I mean a really good it is 130 millimeter armor piercing or or caliber weapon it does 196 millimeters worth of penetration on average and it does around 440 damage um, it's probably a little bit less over time but in general it does a lot of damage um, the HE rounds do 580 damage with only 65 penetration, so they're good for the for the light and for the um, artillery. Uh, and uh, technically, I'd use it against the comet as well because the comet's pretty shit. Now, my first shot obviously goes completely wide, uh, or, or low, should I say? And my second one, I think I actually miss again after I've reloaded, which um, isn't a great start. As far as no, actually, I don't get a chance, but it isn't a great start to the bat battle but it really does get better and you can you'll see that in a minute well actually it may be more like five minutes by the time we get around to it I was hoping the KV-1 would back out there it doesn't the AV uh, sorry the ARL V-39 doesn't actually do very much in this oh actually gets a couple of kills in this battle but he doesn't really move from this area for quite a while basically the same as me now I think that is the KV-1 moving, and I think I might have pegged him then, but I don't know for sure. All I know is that I saw that thing go and I thought, I might as well shoot. And the round stopped, or at least I didn't see the explosion at the, at the end of it, which is a sign that you either, the round goes out of your vision range, or it hit it hits a tank if it stops and you don't see the explosion, so... It's possible that that missed, though. We'll find out. So, as I said before, we sit, pretty much sit in this position for the entire round. 
I mean, we're down a tank. Um, our chance of winning is now at 46%. I don't normally um, rely on the chance to win because it is really kind of um, s inaccurate, I think, because pe some people on the other team or some people on your team may play better than their rating suggests. Here we go. 375 damage. That was pretty good. The Panzer SFL 5 here is going to take another hit after I reload. There we go. 384 damage. We're now at 759 with two shots. I've, only, I've, I've shot three times. So No, I've shot four times. Two hits. 759 damage. I think I missed this shot. Yeah goes left. Hellcat moves out of the way. It doesn't matter though. He's down. And now we're in a position where we need to um, kind of settle down a little bit here and hope for the best. My view range and my radio range are too far out so I can't get hold of the KV-1S which doesn't last very long because the uh, Lorraine 155.50 does the damage. So, we don't know where any of the L any else of these tanks. We know that the Jackson and the ARL V39 are in those positions specified on the map, roughly. The ARL, as I said before, moves along a little bit towards the wreck of the, the two comets over in the left there, but they don't really move very much from there until they get killed later on. The KV-1S is taking some damage up there from what I presume is the uh, Jackson. And as we, um, as everyone does every time they play against a TOG, they um, tend to uh, always try and focus when it comes into play. I miss another shot. So at this, at this rate, my accuracy is really quite low. And it's actually rather disappointing. At this moment in time, I think to myself, this could be quite bad actually, and not work out. I don't even get a shot off again at the KV-1S as it goes down. But I'm in I'm in decent spirits. I've got two kills, um, which isn't too terrible. But I'm looking to do that serious damage with this tank because that what this is what the tank's all about really to do as much damage as possible. So the Tiger P comes into play. I already knew this. Let me just stop it here. I already knew that the hull of the Tiger P is really difficult to get through. So what you want to focus on is the turret. And that is exactly what I do. You, sometimes you don't have control over where you're shooting because of the, 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 the size of the reticle. But in this case, I get a nice shot. Roughly where his um, loader is. Or it might be as observer, in fact, or as um, commander, should I say? The Tiger P does a really terrible job here. Of of um, he decides at this point in time that he wants to move backwards, and we don't see it just yet. But it'll pop up in a second, and he's moving back for some reason. And unluckily for him gets absolutely boomed. So that's another 334 damage in a total of 1548 in four shots, four hits. So you can tell with this tank that it does decent damage. Once you get that reload down to a, a more manageable level, mine's about 13 and a half seconds, um, then it becomes quite a decent tank to hit. I do take a shot at this tank here uh, because I just think, why not? and it hits the rock. Uh, I'm not too upset about that. I missed my chance to take a shot at the TOG too, which is quite disappointing because everyone wants to take the TOG down. That's just the way it is. Um, and At this point we, we seem to be in a little bit of a lead although the TOG's still up and that can do a little bit of damage if you're not careful. The SU-100 pops up over there, and I'm going to see if I can sideswipe it, as you can see. I'm going to aim for roughly where the, um, the ammo is, and I 
get a nice shot there. I don't ammo rack or anything like that, but I get a nice shot, and I will leave that for somebody else. Now, the ARL, as I said earlier on, is still in roughly the same position it was, was before, but it's managed to do some serious damage to the team. It's managed to take out three of, of our dead so far, and it's, you know, it's quite worrying, the ARL, if it gets into any kind of position it may be able to do some damage but I think it's on really low health. A lovely feature for this mod is if you hold alt you get a look at how many hit points are left from the tanks that we've seen. So the ARL is actually only at three hit points so he's going to die as soon as he gets spotted really. The SU-100 is at 122, Jackson's about half health and the TOG's only taken 300, 350 on damage. So we're equal now though. We are on equal footing and we've got to hope here that we can spot them before they spot us and we can do some serious damage. What's going to happen now is the um, the Hummel is going to decide that he wants to have a little run with the IS and the IS is going to go towards where the SU-100 is. I'm going to move into a different position so that my left hand side is covered from anything that's over there as the uh, SU-100 um, gets spotted but is killed by the FV-304. You'll notice if I press shift here that the FV-304 on, the, on the, uh, the other side is actually a really good player. He's got a very decent rating, his win rate's really good in bo in both his tank and in general. Uh, he has only got 4,000 uh, uh, games though, which means that he's a little less experienced than me, for instance, who've got just over 7,000. But The rating itself gives you an idea of how good a person is, because if you can get your rating up into that purple area of 2200 plus, it means you've been really consistent in playing well. That's what it's all about, really, consistency. If you play a game um, really well, get a lot of damage, preferably damage. Damage is what gives you, really, the XP. Uh, kills doesn't to a certain extent. It only does if you get, say, the top gun, for instance. The TOG comes into play here. I need to let my gun do all the accuracy here, and then I get a nice little 469 damage shot. I don't think I get a chance to do uh, any more because the Lorraine 15550 get the hit on the end there. That is the only issue with this gun. If you can't one shot a tank then you're li less likely to actually be able to destroy the tank because you won't be able to get that second shot before it gets away. So you really want to do as much damage as possible. One of my crew members has got the... Uh, it does extra damage to or it does a chance to do extra damage to um, bits in the tank or the crew. I can't remember what the skill is called, but it is very um, very useful to have. I don't know what kind of advantage that gives you or percentage of of bonus to your shots, but um, this shot coming up is actually a really nice shot because I l basically lead him. And I get a nice little shot there, 346 damage. The FV-304 comes into view. I don't manage to um, see him, which is really unfortunate. And uh, uh, the J, J Panther doesn't actually get a shot off on, on him as well. He becomes a little bit of a pain in the ass. That is Lone Wolf that I was telling you about earlier. He becomes a little bit of a pain in the ass later on. When the game gets really, really tense. Really tense. ARL, AR, ARL V39 comes into play, gets murdered by the J Panther, which was expected really, very much expected. Now, let me just pause it here for a second, because what I can do here, if I, I remember correctly, I don't know if this will work or not. Let me, no, it doesn't work, don't worry. Uh, I thought I had the um, replay, um, cinematic script installed but I don't uh, so I can't do it. Uh, what I was going to show you is I was going to move over to the Panzer SFL 1VC uh, or, or 4C um, just to see what happens to him because what will happen to him in a second let me just move the camera around so you can actually see the uh, AMX 13F3 comes right at the uh, the 4C 
and basically murders him or, or at least gets to spot that murders him the Hummel decides that he doesn't want to be involved in this he wants to go and do something else as the Amex kills him which is rather unfortunate and now things get a little bit complicated because what ha needs to happen now is I need to move out there's no point me sitting around uh, doing therefore because what's going to happen is I'm going to move out towards the cap I'm going to tell um, the FV304 to get onto the cap because the Hummel and the MA, MX, AMX13 F3 are going to take each other out bye bye um, but the FV304s are still in play now I know roughly where uh, Lone Wolf was but he's not there anymore he's decided to move down towards A6 or B6 somewhere like that Whereas the other one, FV3 or 4 Combaticus, I think his name is, he's literally around C2 or C3 or something, and he's going to come in and try and spot. Because we're running out of time. We're seriously running out of time, and we've got some work to do. So at this point, I'm thinking they're not going to bother. They're just going to, you know, they're just going to try and take some pot shots and and miss. But what happens here is I get spotted by Lone Wolf, who sits behind this building, and I'll pause it here. Combaticus gets a hit on me, which uh, resets the uh, the counter. We're down to one minute seventeen. So we're in a bit of a tight squish here. We need to either kill these two people or we need to finish the cap finishing the cap is going to be difficult because of what happens next the FV304 gets hit and the, re and the cap has gone and it takes me a few seconds to realize this that it's going to take more time for me to finish the cap than what is left because there's only a minute left and the FV304 uh, knows this he knows now that all he needs to do is back up and let, let the, go, the game go and hopefully either a draw or they can pick me off so I'm just going to go fucking nutty and I'm going to plow right through the buildings and I've switched to HE and that may be a, that may have been an issue I lose my track and I think to myself this is going to be bad now but I get a nice shot off on the FV304 I repair my commander because I really want to spot where this guy is going to be and lucky for me the J Panther is coming in behind and I'm going to get another hit and because I'm on HE I don't kill the guy straight out when I should do but this next shot coming up and look at the time let me just point out the time here with 14 seconds to spare 14 seconds to spare I get the final kill and the top gun and generally the enjoyment out of winning this entire game I'm really pleased with this uh, I'll also show you the screenshots of the score and such so you can see for yourself and I'll also um, let you know, or I'll at least show you what my final kind of um, skill level was, or my efficiency, or my win win WN8 uh, rating was, because that is really the most important aspect of this game is to get that WN8 rating to go up. Anyway, if you have any questions about what you have seen today, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below if you did or not. Um, I also really want to know if there's anything that I could have improved on that could have done better please let me know because if I if you don't tell me and I don't know then I will n not really get better will I anyway thanks very much for watching everyone see you next time